Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we're talking about big data versus business intelligence. Watch this video to know the key differences between big data and business intelligence that you need to know. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. What is business intelligence? Business intelligence, or BI, is the process by which businesses analyze current and historical data using methods and technology to improve strategic decision-making and gain a competitive advantage. The phrase business intelligence is also used to describe a set of technologies that enable quick access to data-driven insights about an organization's current status. Here's the best open source tools for BI. The first one is BERT. It is an open source technology platform used to create data visualizations and reports that can be embedded into rich client and web applications. The second tool is Jasper Report. It is a reporting server that may be used both alone and embedded. It integrates reporting and analytics into a web or mobile application. It can also serve as a primary information center for the company. And the last one we'll mention here is NIME. The Constance Information Miner is a free and open source data analytics, reporting, and integration platform. NIME integrates various components for machine learning and data mining through its modular data pipelining concept. Now let's move on to big data. Big data refers to large, complex structured and unstructured data sets that are generated and transferred quickly from a range of sources. Because these data sets are so large, typical data processing software can't handle them. We'll share a list of tools we use at Jelvix. The first one is Hadoop. It is an open source software framework for storing and processing data on commodity hardware clusters. It offers a lot of storage for all data, a lot of processing power, and it can handle nearly unlimited concurrent processes or jobs. The next tool is Apache Spark. It is a unified analytics engine for big data processing with built-in modules for streaming, SQL, machine learning, and graph processing. We have a good comparison of Hadoop versus Spark on our blog. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box. Next, OpenRefine. OpenRefine is a Java-based power tool for loading, understanding, cleaning, reconciling, and augmenting the data from the web. It protects your data by running a mini server on your computer while you interact with it through your web browser. And the last tool here is Cassandra. It is an open source, no SQL distributed database that provides scalability and high availability without sacrificing performance. It's the ideal platform for mission critical data because of its linear scalability and demonstrated fault tolerance on commodity hardware or cloud infrastructure. What other open source tools for big data or BI do you know? Let us know your answers in the comments section below. Now that we know what business intelligence and big data are, let us see some of the differences between them. The first difference lies in their purpose. The goal of business intelligence is to assist organizations in delivering reliable reports and making better decisions by extracting data straight from the data source. On the other hand, the major goal of big data is to acquire, process, and analyze both structured and unstructured data to improve the customer experience. The next difference is about their ecosystem or components. BI is founded on the premise of merging all business data sets into a single server. This data is then evaluated offline and saved in a platform or environment known as a data warehouse. However, in the big data environment, Data is stored on a distributed file system, which is far more secure and versatile. They also differ by their characteristics and properties. Big data can be described by some characteristics such as volume, variety, variability, velocity, and veracity, while the business intelligence has the following features. Location intelligence, executive dashboards, what-if analysis, interactive reports, metadata layer, and ranking reports they obviously bring different benefits. Business intelligence makes it easier to make smart business decisions. You get reports and analysis that is both faster and more accurate, and BI also helps to improve operational efficiency. 
Now, these are the benefits of big data, market prediction and forecasting data storage, mining and analysis. It assists in the implementation of new strategies. It keeps you up to speed with changing customer trends. And finally, they are applied in different fields. From our experience at Jelvix, business intelligence can be applied in social media, healthcare, gaming industry, food industry, etc. While big data is often used in the banking sector, entertainment and social media, healthcare, retail and wholesale, etc. In fact, big data and BI are interconnected. Big data is actually empowering better business intelligence. With big data, business intelligence can provide information that allows you to better understand your customers, improve marketing methods, make personalization possible, and identify problems that arise in real time. So, now try to explain the difference between big data and business intelligence in several words in the comments section. Also, share which topics you'd like us to cover next on our channel. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the subscribe button. Bye for now.